Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back from Florida. My vacation with the family is over and we're back to our regular routine. Um, it's actually quite nice to be back. As lovely and as beautiful as Florida was, it's, it's nice to come home to your own home, your own bed, your routine, and we missed Juno big time. So we picked him up Friday after we landed and uh, picked him up around seven o'clock and boy oh boy did he ever cry and cry happy happy tears and he was crying and howling it was hilarious i have a very short clip of it i managed to get a little bit of it on video um, when we picked him up at a doggy daycare so i will try um, to put that clip at the end of this video um, so you guys can kind of see um, how he was um, so anywho, that being said, I am going to get started on my pour today. That's my Santorini girl. <laughs> She's pretty cool. I got her from Greece and look what she does. She holds plastic bags in her bum. <laughs> so she's pretty cool. I like her. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. I'm going to put you down here. There we go. Move my little remote. All right, so today, let's center you here. There you go. Let me see my kids' toys. Sophia was playing down here. Okay, I think we're good. So I am working on dun, 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 a big Dutch pour. Um, I did a 20 by 20 inch canvas uh, about a week ago. Well, at least I uploaded it about a, a week ago or some days ago. Um, and people loved it. Um, so apparently doing a big pour is pretty cool. So I'm going to do another one, but this time it's going to be round. So what I have here is a, um, MDF wood board. Uh, let me see if I can bring you up just a bit. I don't know if that helped, but there we go. Um, it's the edges are rounded and I have uh, taped and put some newspaper because why waste so much tape? But anywho, um, I taped the back so I can't get any paint on the back. And then I put um, a coat of uh, gesso, which is right here. Coat of Liquitex Basics gesso, just for priming. And I underneath, I have these awesome silicone. It's actually for baking. They're for baking. Uh, you get eight, I think, of the, eight of them. Yeah, eight. And you put them together like puzzle pieces, like a heart or a square or a circle. And you're supposed to put like cake batter in them. But anyways, these things are awesome because they're silicone. And when you get paint or even resin on them, they just peel right off. So you can see that just peels right off so they're pretty cool and they're actually really sturdy so I've got them under here and it is pretty sturdy which is great so this is a 24 inch round uh, a lot of people ask me where I get my mermaids and my surfboard and my wood rounds and all that um, I have a fantastic local carpenter um, who makes me whatever I want. So, you know, I could never find them on Amazon and when I did, they were super expensive or I don't know where everybody else gets theirs, but find a local carpenter, like search in your area or go on Facebook to your local community or something and find a carpenter who will do that for you because my guy is awesome. So that's where I get mine from. Can I open this? There we go. All right, so let's get started. That's enough talking for now. So colors I'm gonna use tonight are Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex Basics, Greenish Blue by Amsterdam, then I have Deep Magenta by Artist Loft, and then I have Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue by um, Liquitex Basics, and then I have iridescent green blue. And for the longest time, I've been calling it Pebeo Studio Acrylics. 
Uh, I was corrected by a lovely viewer um, saying it's actually called PBO, PBO. So it's PBO Studio Acrylics, apparently. Um, so anywho, this one's really great too. And then I have, of course, um, my white, which is my Artist Loft uh, Flow Acrylic White. Now, for any of you who are new watching and want to know what's in my in here, it's paint, flow trawl, and some water. Um, if you want to know my ratios and how I mix it, um, please check out video number 63. Um, I've put it up. There's a link that'll pop up. So click on that if you want um, after this video and check out my ratios. So that's that. A lot of people still ask me if I use silicone. No, I do not use silicone. I hate the stuff. I will never use that stuff. Um, I can't stand the stuff. So I do not use silicone. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to flood this big board with my white. <laughs> that came out quick. And then a lot of people ask me about my spatula. Guys, I have an Amazon shop. I have a US one and a Canadian one. I have everything listed in there. Everything from like squeeze bottles, my squeeze bottles to the spatula, to the torch I use. So check out the links below uh, in the description below. This thing is the greatest thing um, for spreading my paint. Um, I, I can't blow it. I've seen like Rinska blows it with her hair dryer. God bless her. Even Molly does it too um, from Molly's Artistry. And I just can't seem to... I haven't really tried it too much, but I just... I love the spatula. So I will continue what I know and what I love, and that is using my spatula. Plus, my mommy bought it for me, so I have to use it. <laughs> All right. So make sure I get... This board is almost as big as my table, so I'm trying really hard uh, not to get any of this on my feet. So, all right. So I had a wonderful time in Florida. I even, for some of you may have seen, I even did a live Dutch pour um, from Florida, which was super cool, but super hot. Um, and I used the uh, hair dryer that I found um, in the condo. Um, so I didn't have the attachment for it, but I just wanted to show everyone and prove to everyone that you don't need the exact same hair dryer I have or that Rinska has or that, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, what kind of hair dryer is it? How much wattage does it have? What's the volt, like, you know, how many watts? Is it hot air? Is it cold air? Do you have it on high? Do you have it on low? Um, you know, you don't need special hair dryers. It's just about how you use it. So once you figure out how to use what you've got, then you're golden. You just have to practice and learn how to use it. That's all. So I did a Dutch pour with a completely foreign hair dryer that I've never seen or used before. Do I have gunk in here? No. Um, so, and I didn't even have the attachment and it worked out pretty good. So, gosh, this board is really big. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, so we had a great time. Um, this was our seventh year um, that we have been going. So, and we saw so many dolphins in the water this year. Usually we'll get lucky if we like see one. Um, but this year they were swimming everywhere and so close to shore too. It was crazy. Um, at one point, oh gosh, there was a father with um, his two daughters. I guess they were like, oops, I better move this. Um, they were in the ocean with like their noodles and like the surfboards or whatever and they there was dolphins swimming right behind them about maybe 10-15 feet and so I guess they just caught a glimpse of the fins and thought they were sharks and boy oh boy I tell you I have never seen 
um, such panic before in my life. They dropped their floaties, they dropped their noodles, they dropped whatever they had and swam for dear life to shore. Um, like, I mean, I felt bad for them, but it was also, you know, funny to see. But the poor people thought that they were sharks and boy, did they ever freak out. But they weren't sharks, they were dolphins um, and lots of them too. And then one day there was a pod of manatees um, swimming around very close to shore. So people were actually going into the water and they were swimming around them. Um, the manatees were swimming around the people. So it was really cool. Okay, now that that's done and I've kind of made a mess, let's start with the colors. Oh, before that, I'm gonna pop all my bubbles. I need some more white here. All right. I haven't decided um, what I'm gonna do with this piece when it's done. Um, and what I mean by that is I might just leave it as a, you know, wall piece, um, or I might turn it into a clock. So I have these awesome clock hands um, that my super cool older brother um, who lives in New York um, picked them up for me off Amazon and brought them to me um, the last time he visited. So I'm, I may get my husband to punch a hole in the center um, and turn this baby into a clock. I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do, but if I do decide to turn this into a clock, um, I will videotape that, and then that way you guys can see the process of, you know, making it a clock and resining it and all that stuff. So let me know in the comments, do you guys, when this is done, take a look at it, and do you want me to leave it as is, or should I turn it into a clock? Let me know what you guys think. All right, so let's start pouring our colors. I think I'm gonna start, I guess it doesn't really matter what color I start with. So now design, I don't wanna go straight across. So I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of a zigzag pattern. Um, I don't know, kind of like that, something like that. There's no real pattern going on here. All right, let's do yellow. All right, yellow and purple always look good together. Usually I'll use like an accent color like copper or that antique copper I have um, or gold but this time I decided not to. I didn't wanna to put too many colors in here, although I have quite a few. What do I have, five colors? Um, we'll see. I may add a splash of the antique copper. I may. Uh, hold on, just add a little more blue in there. All right. Next, let's move on to the deep magenta. Oh, I always clean off the tips of my bottles because there's always, you know, dry paint and you don't want that going in there because it's just going to ruin things. So. All right, and last but not least, my iridescent green blue. This is, I love this color got a metallic -y shimmer to it all right so and I think I'm gonna just do a little bit of white even though I'm gonna flood it with white um okay I think that's good I'm debating whether I should add some of that antique copper or um, regular copper. So here's the difference. This is copper by Artist Loft, and this is antique copper by Folk Art. 
So, you know, they're both really stunning colors. Um, I think I'm gonna do the regular copper this time around because the last two big Dutch pours I did, I used the antique copper. All right. Okay, no more. What is that, six colors? I hope I didn't mess that up. All right, let's add the white for flooding. Okay. I hope this turns out really nice because this is a pretty big round. Now, would you believe, so this is a, what did I say, a 24 inch? I actually have a 36 inch. I have two of them actually. And uh, that would be really cool. I've already used, I had three. I used one and made it into a table. There's a video on that as well um, from back in the day. But it'd be cool to do a big one. All right. Oh, pop the bubbles. Torch, get all the bubbles out, all the air bubbles. All right, so a lot of people ask me, is it necessary to have a torch? Yes, I think so. Um, it pops all the air bubbles that are trapped underneath the paint, and it also helps with the cells after. So yes, I do think it's um, very convenient and useful to have. All right, so let's blow the white over. All right, so that looks pretty cool. Now let's see what happens when I blow it out. Now the question is, how am I gonna blow it out? All right, let's see here. Uh, let's go this way. That way you guys can see what I'm doing. Wow, this over here, if you can see, looks pretty cool. That is very nice. Now, let's see. I'm gonna definitely blow it all out, but let's, no, you know what? I'm gonna blow it first, then I'm gonna torch it. This is really cool. I don't know if you can see that. Let me show you. Look at that. That's, this is cool. So let's blow the rest out. And see what happens. Put you guys back here in the center. All right, don't fall. All right, this is gonna be challenging. You know what? I didn't tie my hair back. I keep forgetting to do that. Let me do that real quick because I think last time I got my hair in the paint. So pretty so far. I'm not even gonna touch this because this looks super cool down here. So. And don't be afraid to touch it either. Like, I mean, I see um, Rinska doing this a lot as well. Um, and it actually kind of makes the lines a lot softer. And they're not like bold lines, which is kind of nice as well. Yeah, I 
touched it. Good thing I'm wearing an apron. A lot of people also say to me, oh, why don't you use a straw? I really hate straws. I don't like um, using a straw because you end up with um, really thin little wispy lines. And not only that, you're blowing your hot breath in a straw, which then gets condensation in the straw. And next thing you know, you're dripping saliva all over the paint, all over your canvas, all over your paint. So I think that's gross. Sorry if you use a straw. I know for a lot of people, um, you know, they can't blow and they have a hard time blowing, so they use a straw, which is fine. Just swap out the straw every so often, you know, and you can get a clean one and then, you know, keep blowing, right? Um, but for me personally, I don't like using them. I prefer um, blowing with my mouth because I find it works better. Woo, where did that come from? Well, there's definitely some colors under there. Wow. That is just like a rainbow in there. Wow, that was unexpected. And I know there's probably a ton of color in here, but I'm afraid to blow it. Wow, the color explosion on here is insane. All right, I think I need a little white here because clearly I touched the board. I don't know with what, obviously probably my apron. All right, I'm just gonna blow a little bit over here and I'm gonna leave it. Like, <laughs> I should get like a step stool so that I'm at least higher when I'm blowing because clearly I just put my whole apron in there. But the bright side is you can always fix it. And now if there was color here, then we'd have a problem, but it's just white. All right. Let me wipe my apron. Oh, it went through my, my shirt. It went through the apron onto my shirt. Note to self, apron, not that great. All right, now let's, tor look at the cells over here. Wow, that is cool. All right, let's torch it and see what comes out of this. This is really cool. Now, just looking at it, and I'm not crazy about this part here. So, let me see if I can blow it out a bit. I 
I'm not liking the colors. So let's see what happens when I add a little purple. All right, hopefully that doesn't mess it up. That's better. Okay, so that worked better. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to I didn't like the way those colors looked so let's fix it If you're not happy with a spot, you can fix it, seriously. Just scrape it and add some more white. And before you know it, you can, you fixed it. So, now I'll just blow it out a bit. I am a mess tonight, wow. <laughs> seriously, a mess. Now let's just torch it. There we go. It's really cool and I think this will be the bottom. So you're looking at it from the top down. I think I like this orientation really good. Really, really well, really well, <laughs> really good. All right, so clearly I touched this again I really need to jump on a stool or something so that I'm higher. All right. There's a Juno hair in here. All righty. Okay, I'll bring you guys in for a close-up without messing something up. Okay, there we go. So, I think this will be the orientation of it, like this. So... What do you guys think? This bottom part is my favorite. And there's lots of cool colors. I'm actually glad I ended up putting the copper in there because there's a few little subtle hints of it floating around. And then this here is pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think. Um, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. If you're a new watcher, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell for notifications. That way you're notified every time I post a new video or go live. Um, so that's it guys, let me know your thoughts. Um, check out all my social media links below and of course the PayPal link. Um, thank you Kimberly once again for your um, wonderful PayPal donation. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, and that's it guys, until the next time, have a good night. Bye. Oh, and stay tuned for some uh, Juno clips. Hopefully I can add it to the end of this video. Take care. Bye.